Stu, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thanks for being on. We're happy to have you here. How much are you getting ready for the, the season? You've been part of a rookie tournament, a Leafs exhibition. Maybe we should start there. What was it like getting into an exhibition game and uh, playing with the captain, Dion Phaneuf? Uh, it was definitely a lot of fun and a uh, really cool experience. And um, to play with uh, Dion was great uh, in Ottawa. And um, he helped me a lot out there. And, um, you yeah, know, it was uh, definitely a memorable night for me just because even though that it was just an exhibition game, you know, it was kind of your first NHL uh, experience. And um, it was definitely uh, a night that I'll always remember. Now, Stu, uh, you know, last couple of seasons, you had the taste of the American Hockey League after your season was done, uh, you know, two years ago. You got the opportunity to play some playoff games also. And then again, at the end of the season last year, uh, do you feel mu that much more comfortable now, you know, getting ready for the American Hockey League season this year? You know you're going to be starting here in the AHL. Uh, do you feel more comfortable because you've had some games under your belt already? Yeah, for sure. And um, just coming in, uh, you know, kind of mid-April, late April, um, you just kind of adapt to, you know, the kind of lifestyle that it is in pro. And um, it's always good to to practice with, uh, you know, better players and uh, more experienced players. And that's, uh, I think, going to help me uh, transition uh, throughout uh, hopefully the next couple months here, um, getting my first taste of pro um, officially as a hopefully a professional. So, uh it was great to come up the last two seasons at the end of the year and kind of see what uh, hopefully, well, my life is going to be like, uh, you know, coming up. Hey, Stu, there was a, a bit of a stepping stone process, or there used to be, when uh, when guys would come back from the summer and then they would, you know, jump into training camp and they get to know everybody again. You got out on this ice and you were just flying with these guys right away. And uh, I wonder if that, you know, pays tribute to the fact that uh, you've been with them really for the last month or so. Yeah, for sure. I think there's a group of us that work out here in the summer, uh, the prospects, as well as just knowing them through development camps or rookie tournaments in the past. So um, we're all pretty comfortable together. And, uh, you know, hockey guys get, get along easily. I think, um, you know, we, we are all pretty easygoing guys. And, um, you know, we like to talk and have fun out there. So um, it's easy to, uh, to adapt to guys that are uh, such great people off the ice as well as great players on the ice. Stu. This is a bit of a turnover for the Toronto Marlies and an exciting time in the franchise because, uh, you know, there are big opportunities for players like yourself on the way up. One thing when I look at it is perhaps it's being solidified from the back end moving to the front. You look at the goaltending, you have the veteran in Drew McIntyre, your defense. Uh, you have some names like Marshall, Yo, McWilliam uh, combined with uh, players like yourself. Do you see it as being a strength uh, on the blue line perhaps for this hockey team with just sort of the, the mold you have working? Yeah, I think so. I think we got great young players. Like you said, we got uh, Marshy and Yozy, and then uh, Blax has had some years in pro as well. And then uh, Max, a great uh, player. And, um, you know, you got guys like myself and uh, Granberg that are just, uh, you know, kind of stepping in. And, uh, you know, you got Ewan that's also uh, my age. And, you know, we're going to have a, young te a younger team. But uh, I think we're stronger. On, we're pretty strong on the back end. And um, hopefully we can uh, just keep that as a strength as the Marlies uh, move forward here.